Akumilne called to place the four people including Iqbal Hossain who allegedly put the Holy Quran inside the Puja Mandap on a certain day remand. APBN arrested Azizul Haq and three others from Kutubalang in connection with the murder of Rohingya leader Mohibullah. Rab arrested Shoikot Bondal with his subordinates who were directly involved in the communal attack in Pirgonj, Rangpur. And Education Minister said the government has a plan to extend the number of weekly classes from the next academic year. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my TV News. I'm Fawzan Roshan with you in the newsroom. Today we are watching the headlines and I'm going to the details. A Kumile court today placed the four people, including Iqbal Hossain, who allegedly put the Holy Quran inside the Nanwa Dighir Park Puja Mandap. On a seven day remand, Kumila Senior Judicial Magistrate Mithila Zahan Mita passed the remand order on Saturday afternoon. Earlier in the day, police produced Iqbal before the court with a 10 day remand prayer. The other three accused in the case are Ikram, Faisal, and Hafiz. Iqbal was arrested from Shugantha Point of Cox's Bazar Sea Beach on Thursday night. Hours after his arrest, he confessed to putting the Holy Quran inside Nadwa Dighir Par Puja Mandap, but the motive behind it still remains unknown. Later on Friday, Iqbal was handed over to Kumila District Police at the police lines. A killing squad member named Azizul Haq and three others have been arrested in connection with the murder of Mohibullah, chairman of Arakan Rohingya Society for Peace and Human Rights. Cox's Bazar 14 armed police battalion APB and arrested them. One shooter gun and one round fresh cartridges have been recovered from their possession. According to the information provided by Azizul, Mohibullah murder killing mission was completed within two minutes. Killers brought Mohibullah outside his house at night as he talked about the Rohingya repatriation that as part of the plan he was shot to death. Cox's Bazaar 14 armed police battalion commander SP Naimul Hawk came up with the information while a briefing reporters today. The Rapid Action Battalion, Rab said people from Rangpur, Sipirganj gathered to attack Hindu homes in Mijipur after seeing a post regarding the dishonoring of religion on Shoikot Mandal's Facebook page. Shoikot made the incendiary religious posts on Facebook in a bid to increase his follower count. According to the elite police unit, the Rab made the remarks at a press conference on Saturday after arresting the 24-year-old Shoikot and another suspect in the Pirganj violence, 36 year old Rabiul Islam from Gajipur. Shoikot urged Rabiul to use the microphone at a local mosque to gather a mob. Shoikot wanted to publicize his image and increase this Facebook follower count by making incendiary posts, said Rabiul spokesman Commander Khandokar al -Moin. Following the violence in Kumilla around Durga Puja, at least 23 Hindu homes in Pirgonj were attacked, vandalized and burned that night. <laughs> As the academic year nears an end, the number of classes school and college students take each week will not be increased with a third wave of coronavirus lurking worldwide, said Education Minister Deepumoni. She said after inaugurating a new office of Polli Bidut Shamiti at Chatpur's Barhat area today, Deepumoni said government has a plan to extend the number of weekly classes once students are promoted in January next year after SSC and HS examinations conclude. The secondary journal of BNP, Mirza Ferkali Samalungir, has blamed the government for the recent incidents of communal violence in different parts of the country. He said this government has failed to maintain communal harmony in the country. It has also failed to reduce the prices of essential commodities. He said this while speaking at a human chain program organized by the party protesting the soaring prices of essential products such as rice, flour, oil, vegetables, etc. In front of National Press Club today, he urged the government to stop down from power for failing to control the rising food prices.
Viewers about to the end of the headlines once again. A Kumila call to place the four people, including Iqbal Hussain, who allegedly put the Holy Quran inside the Puja Mandop on a seven day remand. APBN arrested Azizul Hawk and the three others from Kutupalang in connection with the murder of Rohingya leader Mohibullah. Ram arrested the Shoytot Mandol with his third rebel who were directly involved in the communal attack in Pigon, Shijongpur. Education Minister said the government has a plan to extend the number of weekly classes from the next academic year. Senior Al-Qaeda leader Abdul Hamid al mathar has been killed in a U.S. drone attack in Syria, claimed the Pentagon. And Namibia raced to the 2020 World Cup second round for the first time by defeat Ireland. That's all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with my TV news online, visit YouTube slash MyTVBD News. And to watch all our programs, visit YouTube slash MyTVBangla, Facebook slash MyTVBangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. And don't forget to join with us. Till then, stay connected. Viewers, be careful to prevent coronavirus and follow the hygiene rules. Allah Hafiz.